Yar literature is experiencing a renaissance. There are more intriguing voices and diversity in its pages than ever. In a new series, USA Today profiles five best-selling Yar authors leading the charge to talk about the books, writers and moments that shaped their careers. So far, we've talked to Jenny Han, Angie Thomas, Adam Silverer and Jason Reynolds. Sabah Tahir is the final in the series. Sabah Tahir's road to best-selling author began with a chance encounter. Tahir grew up in the remote town of Ridgecrest, in California's Mojave Desert. The town, about 100 miles from the nearest mall, felt isolating. There was a library and a few used and independent bookstores, but even they were limited. When I was a kid, I was out in the middle of nowhere, Tahir tells USA Today. I can't believe I found, seven daughters and seven sons. I can't believe that book happened to be in my tiny little elementary school library. The Yar novel, by Barbara Cohen and Bahia Lovejoy, is about Baran, a young woman in an ancient Arab nation who disguises herself as a boy in order to live the life she wants. The book mesmerized 10-year-old Tahir. It was the first time Tahir saw the Arabic greeting, Assalamu alaikum, in a novel. The book reflected what I say to my parents every day. It was a revelation, said Tahir. As a Muslim and Pakistani, she identified with the story set in the Middle East and South Asia. It was a huge moment for me because I realized these stories mattered. Later, Tahir stumbled on Ursula K. Le Guin's Earthsea series in her middle school English textbook. It was not part of her class curriculum. The pictures of the dark-skinned Gerd are what drew me in because he looked like me, said Tahir. I remember being shocked because I had not seen that in a fantasy book. In her experience, fantasy books had always centered white characters. Tahir believes every book is one of two things, a window into another person's life or a mirror into one's own. When she would work on her first novel, she did so wanting to give a mirror to young people like her. Tahir would go on to get a degree in journalism while still indulging in reading fantasy books, many of which were Yar. While working as a newspaper editor she would pen her first book, the best-selling, An Ember in the Ashes. Tahir admits, you know, deep, deep, deep down, I always wanted to be an author, but I never really let myself think that it was possible because it was not a practical job. An Ember in the Ashes, a fantasy novel about a young girl liar who lives in an oppressive society, debuted as a USA Today bestseller. Her next books in the fantasy series, A Torch Against Midnight, and A Reaper at the Gates, would also become bestsellers. I wanted to make, An Ember in the Ashes, feel like home to a lot of brown kids out there and I wanted them to see themselves, their culture and their family events, said Tahir.